story time, my boyfriend tried to kill me so he could have my life insurance money. So I decided to go on Tinder to look for some potential matches. And lo and behold, a guy named Jared was there. He was adorable, he was charming, and we had multiple cell phone calls before deciding to meet. We met at Red Lobster and it was like fireworks. He was so romantic and looked like a six foot something cowboy. He took me to a wildlife bird refuge after dinner and I instantly fell for him. We dated for months and everything was mostly good. However, he was just very pressuring for things. And I didn't want to take things too fast. I was 21 and he was 31. Eventually, this just gave me some bad vibes, so I decided to cut off the relationship. But a few months later, he called me saying that he couldn't forget me. He had been married before and his wife had passed away, so I felt very sympathetic towards him. He had a really nice job, making over 150 k a year, and he said that all he wanted to do was take care of me and my child. So I moved in and things were good again. I would wake up in the morning, he would make me coffee, and I would help him with his kids. But I noticed that my weight was starting to go down. And that's when I realized he was putting something in my coffee. Follow me on Insta and stay tuned for part two. Part two to my boyfriend trying to kill me to get my life insurance money. I was not feeling very well and my parents were extremely worried about me, especially once they found out I only weighed 88 pounds. I knew I had to have been really, really ill. So my parents drove down five hours to rescue me and I was immediately hospitalized. That's when I was able to put together the full story on what was going on. He started putting all the money that he was making into my bank account, but he didn't let me have access to it. He would take out loans in my name, making it look like I was making money. And my life insurance policy added to half a million dollars. During this time in the hospital, I was going through severe withdrawals from whatever he was putting into my coffee. But the second I stopped drinking it, I started to gain weight back. I was thinking that maybe he had done this to his previous wife. However, when I looked her up, I found out that she was still alive. They were just divorced. Later, I was able to find out that they even moved back in with each other. Make sure you don't ever get too blinded by love to realize that you're being taken advantage of. Follow me on Instagram, and if you have a story, DM me. Story time, how I catfished the girl that my brother-in-law was cheating with. So my brother-in-law always had a bit of a cheating reputation, and he definitely gave me the worst vibe. He had even cheated on my sister before, but they forgave each other and worked things out. Whatever. But I knew that something was up once rumors started to fly again, and so did my sister. And there was one particular girl on his phone that was very sus. So my sister got the number and we decided to set her up. We didn't really know how much she knew or if she was aware that he was married. So we just pretended to be him and asked her to come over. And since they had been hooking up, she was down to come over. So we sat and waited and she walked in expecting to see my brother-in-law, but instead she got my sister and I. When I say she was shocked, I mean she was shocked. She wasn't furious or anything. However, she kept acting weird like it was all a big joke. She was like, oh my God, I had no idea he was married, which you can't blame her for everything it takes two to tango. However, I still think you should be aware of who you're seeing, but she agreed to confront him with us. Follow me on Instagram and stay tuned for part two. Part two on how I catfished the girl that my brother-in-law was cheating with. So he was still at the house, just hanging out upstairs, had no idea what was going on downstairs when we invited over the girl. And once she agreed to confront him, we decided to walk on upstairs. So she walked up and literally called this man by his first name. And he denied knowing her. Like, we were in shock. Like, we caught you. Like, here she is. How are you even going to deny that you know her when she's calling you by your first name? But she just kept laughing and he just kept denying it. It was extremely uncomfortable and super weird. She literally knew everything about him and even walked over and tried to be like all cutesy with him. And still, he denied. So we just ended up making her leave and I literally fought this man. My sister was upset and shocked, but I was way more furious than she was. It's one thing for people to hurt you, but not the people that you love. Luckily, she is done and no longer with him. At the end of the day, we need to know our self-worth and set high standards for the people that we're dating. Follow the girl that sent me the story and add me on Instagram and DM me if you have a story of your own.